So it is breakfast time. I have my little bowl here um, and I'm going to do a little fruit parfait with my coffee. So I have some mangoes that I freshly just chopped up and then I have some blueberries that I'm going to wash. I have chia seeds and then I have my yogurt. So that's pretty much all I put in there and um, I don't know if I'll add some pumpkin seeds or not. Um, I think I'm just going to keep it simple, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm eating. completely forgot that I also am going to be adding a banana. I have some bananas that I need to use up, and sorry for my morning, morning voice. I literally just woke up, so. Okay, so I just brewed my coffee and my Keurig. Love my Keurig. This is, I love it so much. It's amazing. So anyway, um, all I do is I put two teaspoons of non-dairy creamer. This is non-dairy. It's the original Coffee Mate. And um, I do that and then I add some salt in my coffee just to balance the bitterness. I know that's kind of weird, but I don't like sugar in my coffee unless I'm going out to like Starbucks or something like that. But other than that, I stick with just my, what I grew up on and it's just um, non-dairy creamer and a little bit of salt. So yeah. All right, mixing with one hand. <laughs> All right, now back to my fruits. This is the Kroger brand yogurt. I normally use the Activia yogurt, but I don't have that with me today. So this is all I have in my fridge. And I normally use these as like a dessert, like a treat. Um, but it is low fat yogurt. It does have a lot of sugar, but it's just what I have on hand today. So that's what I'm gonna use. And yeah. Okay, the next thing I like to do is I like to add my chia seeds. And these have a lot of health benefits. So I like to add these into my yogurt and then mix it up. I know some people just add it on top, but I actually like it to mix up and start to get a little bit of that pudding -y consistency, that jelly-like consistency, because it gives a nice texture to my yogurt. So I actually really like that. So I just go ahead and mix it right in there. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this with one hand. I didn't feel like setting up my little um, ring light and um, kind of like tripod situation, so. And this is what you guys are getting this morning because it's too early. All right, so once it's all mixed up, that's good. And then I'll add a little bit more on top later. All right, now I'm gonna add my fruit. So I'm gonna add my mangoes. I'm gonna try to make this kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. It does not have to be perfect because it's going to really, because <laughs> we're going to eat that. But um, yeah, so we have our mangoes. So next I'm going to add some blueberries. I just washed these. They look so good. Lately I've been obsessed with blueberries. So I'm going to add those. I'm trying to make this pretty for you guys, but it's not really working out. <laughs> a little bit more, because again, I am obsessed with blueberries right now. They're so good. They're such a great snack. I really have been enjoying them. So yeah, so there's my mangoes, my blueberries. Then the last is my bananas, and then I'm going to top it with my chia seeds. And we are good to go for breakfast. So I went ahead and sliced up my bananas. So let me see if I can make this pretty. It's not gonna be fancy like the bloggers and stuff that do it, but you know, that's okay. I'm gonna eat it so it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so. Last but not least, I'm gonna top it with my chia seeds. Just for some extra healthy benefits. And top everybody with my chia seeds. And there you have it, you guys. I have my coffee ready to go. And then I have my beautiful, it actually looks kinda of good, I'm proud of myself. It has, I have my beautiful, um, fruit parfait, yogurt, and some fruit with some nice um, chia seeds on top. So yeah. 
Hi guys, so this is going to be my lunch. Um, I have some spinach. I also have some eggs over there and then I'm going to cook that up and have spinach and eggs for my breakfast. So right now I just added some coconut oil in the pan because that's what I like to use with my eggs. And here I've just kind of mixed my eggs with some salt and pepper. And the first thing I like to do is I like to cook up my spinach because they do take a little bit of time just to wilt down and I would like that wilted down before I add my eggs. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Okay. okay, you guys, so I have my two eggs with my spinach. I have half of an avocado and then I'm gonna add this hot sauce. I don't know if you guys know about this, but this is so bomb on your food. Love this hot sauce, it's like my favorite. My husband and I love this. He actually introduced me to it. And then I have this, um, I guess LaCroix is how you pronounce it, and the pineapple strawberry, and it's so good. Love sparkling water. If you haven't tried that yet, you need to get on that. But um, I just wanted to say, um, I don't know, I forgot, but I'm about to watch some at Netflix. I haven't seen um, this movie, The Crazy Beautiful You. It's an Asian movie. I love Asian movies, Asian dramas. Um, I'll pretty watch pretty much watch anything. I love Indian movies. Um, from any, I just love any like international movies basically. But I'm about to go eat this, watch that, and then I'll update you the next meal I have. Okay, so update: I am having a guava um, that was about to go bad, so I figured let me just hurry up and eat it. I didn't want it to spoil, and um, yeah. So for dinner, my husband requested some chicken soup. It's one of his favorite meals that I make. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.